We've been here too long. But you stayed at the party all night. All night long. Mm-hmm. Bonicated all night too, didn't you? But yet, you ought to give God a little time. Oh, we say we pray. And some of you do. But how many of you give God 10% of your prayer? Mm-hmm. Should be a member in the church that's not tithing. Should be tithing. I told some preachers, and they misunderstood what I said. I said, no, it's not a qualification for you to become a preacher. It's not in there about tithing to become a preacher. But in order to become a preacher, you still got to be a brother or a sister. It's a qualification for a brother or a sister. Oh, y'all don't hear me, do you? See, they, when you get on that level, you ought to already be doing it. You ought to already be tithing. You ought to already be doing what's right. How you going to preach to somebody else and you not going to do it? All because you want to be selfish. They don't want to serve no more. They'll wear a good pastor out. They'll wear you out. You got to go do all the visits. Got 10 elders in your church and they can't go visit nobody. Got deacons in your church. Can't go see the sick. Can't. Oh, Lord, help them. Oh, y'all don't hear me, do you? All because they don't have the right kind of mind. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? We got to learn how to serve. Is that all right? Serve one another. You know a brother or sister, they need help and something going on and you got it. Why won't you go over there and help that brother or sister? You don't want to serve? And then when we tell you to obey, oh my Lord. The book is hard as they can be. Now we done got to the point we'll lie about it. Don't want to obey and then lie, make an excuse. Because we don't want to do what God tells us to do. Let me tell y'all something. Faith don't come by reading. And all y'all can stay at home all you want to and tell me, I'm reading my Bible. First, stop telling that lie. You got Facebook. Old church book going to hell with that Facebook, Lord help you. You got, they got a new thing called Twitter. Twit, twit, twit. Okay, I got it. You got the telephone, I mean telephone. Television. All kinds of distractions. And then for you fornicators, you got him and her. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And then you won't come get a word. Because you're saved by what? Faith. Faith cometh by what? Reading, reading, reading. Hearing. Hearing the word of God. And we tell you to come to church. And you won't come and you'll tell a lie. I was sick. My baby was sick. You better put that on your baby. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? Should nobody be in the church and you not in some kind of ministry? Let me break it down to y'all auxiliary. You should be doing something. You don't just come into the church and just, just be a pew warmer. You're here to serve. God needs you. And Lord, let me keep telling y'all about y'all don't want to witness. Come on, y'all don't want to serve. Don't want to tell nobody, nobody about Jesus. Lord, help us. You know why? That because our light ain't shining. Folk ain't seeing your good works. Is it? They supposed to ask you, what happened? So when I got said, what happened to you, Billy? What, what happened, Billy? I, what, why, why you ain't getting drunk no more? Then I could tell them about who? Jesus. I could tell them about who? Jesus. The light, men got to see. 
not here. They got to see your good work. They got to see something in you. And if they see something in you, they'll ask, what happened? And then you can tell them about who? Can you tell them about who? Jesus. How good he is and what he can do. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you and they say, you might be. Say, you shall be witnesses unto me. Some folks think the witness got to always come from your mouth. It ought to come from your life. Is that all right? Learn to serve. We can fill the church up. And then if we need a thousand dollars and we got a thousand folk, everybody give a dollar. Hallelujah. Fill it up then. Learn how to serve. And then learn how to obey. But you've been taught. Now I know all these men of God teaching you the word of God. You ought to obey them. You ought to obey your pastor. You ought to even obey his wife. You know something? They don't want to obey the pastor's wife. But that's part of the pastor. That's his real. You ought to obey. Is that all right? They're telling you what the word of God says. And they're telling you to obey the word of God. The Bible says obey them. That have rule over you. For they watch for your soul. You ain't watching for it yourself. So when they put a word in you to obey, you need to obey that word. Am I telling y'all right? Is it the truth? And all that comes from having the right kind of mind. Say so USO. 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 Stop being selfish get unselfish learn how to be a servant and learn how to obey do it as Christ who was our example did it he did it for you now do it for him he said this if any man will come after me there go right there that's unselfish let him deny what himself take up his cross servanthood and then follow me, obedience. That's it. That's it. That's what he said. And am I right? If you can do that, then you will be able to get the right kind of mind. When we get the right kind of mind, oh, y'all don't like me. We can manifest God's favor. United Churches of God in Christ. I'm talking to the Georgia Northeast jurisdiction and Georgia Central is here. And whatever other jurisdiction is here. You got a work to do. And we can do it. Don't take a, my saying is this. It don't take a whole lot of folk to do nothing. Just the right kind of folk. First church started with 12 people. Hmm? Wasn't nobody but the pastor Jesus and he had 12 members. Went from 12 to 120. And from 120 it went to a mega church. 3,120. Is that all right? Wasn't a whole lot of folks starting out. But it had the right kind of folk. The kind of folk that had the right kind of mind. Is that all right? So let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Everybody stand. God is good, isn't he? Ain't he a good God? Ain't he a great God? Is that all right? 